YouTube, what's going on? My name's Steven. Today we're talking about recording etiquette. Let's get into it. All right, so in our last video, we talked about the proper equipment that you actually need in order to get a good recording out there. Just the easiest and most simple way that you can get a recording and sending it out for pre-screenings, auditions, competitions, things like that, okay? Now, we're actually gonna go a little bit more in depth and talk about actually setting up the equipment and getting it in the right positions for your recordings and getting it in the right settings so that when you put it onto your computer, you're gonna have an easier time setting yourself up for success. That's what we're all about, right? So to start off, we're gonna set up our, we wanna set up our microphone at the right location, okay? Most of the time for auditions or pre-screenings or anything where you are not doing a, or a production level video or audio or something like that, you're either going to want to have a video angle of 45 degrees, either on the left or the right, or center. Most of the time, for as a trombone player or brass instruments, I usually tend to do the 45 degree angle. I just appreciate that more. I think it's a little bit... Uh, it adds more bang for your buck just for the the placement of it so but if you're a string player like a cello or something like that maybe just straight on so that the whole cello is in view maybe is what you're going for but I would say on the 45 degree angles or center and then we're going to talk about mic placement you want your microphone placement if you're a wind or brass instrument 45 degrees left or right whichever one you feel like is going to sound best for you but it's either going to be 45 degrees left or right and approximately three to six feet away from you. If you have a condenser microphone, like we talked about in the last video, the USB mic like this that I'm using right now, you need to set that up three to six feet away and you need to adjust the volume settings, okay? So you're going to want to make sure that uh, you go into, if you're on Windows, go to settings, go to system, go to sound, you have the speakers right there, and you're gonna to wanna to change it right here, master volume for the road. And all other microphones that are USB mics that show up here, you can adjust it here, but adjust the master volume, okay? That's what's gonna be most important here. Now, if you're using a MacBook, the sound output, you go on the sound output, and you go to sound preferences and you check for the specific mic that you want to be using and adjust the volumes there okay so now what we're looking for in the the video is going to be a, a nice profile you want pretty much full body and you want to be able to have your entire instrument in the view and you don't want a noisy background you want very plain even color palettes uh, background right nothing too fancy um, unless if it's you know at a church or something like that where there's you know a lot of beautiful things going around but you don't want things to be messy you want them to be clean concise and easy okay then from there it's very important wherever you're recording that you have enough natural light to really light up the entire room at least your body at least your instrument that way that people can actually see you and better lighting is better quality for your video right off the bat okay now to double check your audio gains you want to make sure that they sound proper so go into whatever software you're using and hit record play something on the loud side so that you can really get an idea of if your microphone is going to peak when a microphone peaks that essentially means that it gets very distorted and it's not going to be good sound quality for you and you're going to have a lot of issues trying to fix that in the editing process okay so so once you have all these things checked off you have the video on you have the microphone on you've checked the microphone gains and you've listened back and you said this sounds good now you're going to get to the spot that you need to be getting to remember where it is and you're going to clap you, you'll just do one two three okay and then when you clap, that's going to help you in the post-editing process putting the audio and the video together. It's going to save you so much more time and energy, and it just it makes things so much more simple. You have to make sure that the iPhone or whatever you're recording with the video is recording. Make sure it's recording. And then you want to make sure 
that the audio is recording. I'll say it again. Make sure the audio is recording. Okay? I've had a couple of times it gets real bad. You get tilted real quick when you mess up that one. Oh. Oh. Ah. No. Tragedy strikes. Tragedy strikes. Okay. One more. Dress. We want to make sure that we're showing up cool, calm, and collected, and classy, dude. We want to make sure that you are wearing all black, nothing too fancy, just simply classy. All right. I'm no fashionista or whatever, but you just always default. All black. Okay? Business casual, fine. But really, just do all black. Please. Okay? It's just going to be way easier for you. It's going to seem more professional. It's going to come across better. Okay, so there's there's a couple of prefaces for this one. A, if you can't find a space, it's okay. You can use something like your bedroom. You can use something that's dry, which means that there's not a lot of reverb in the sound. Like it's not a huge space. You can be creative and make it work for you. But ideally, you want to be able to find a space that is large enough that gives you a good room sound. What I mean by room sound is when you play in it, it's actually enjoyable. You have a nice reverb. You sound better in the hall and you feel that and you um, you enjoy playing in that space more often than not. <laughs> times you can maybe ask like a, a local church that you're affiliated with or maybe just go up to a church and ask if you can play in their space now since it's covid there's a there's maybe a different thing that you can do and it's just using your room okay and especially if you have something like a usb mic like this one you can work with very dry audio it means that there's not going to be reverb it's just going to be a very dry and very uh true sound to what you are doing which is totally fine and you can add reverb in a very small amount of reverb in in the post process editing to make it sound a little bit more natural given the situation next video we're going to be talking about actually editing the videos and the audio putting them together and making sure that uh, you're doing everything lawfully within music festival laws and policy uh, for splicing and editing and things like that you want to make sure that you're sending good products out there but you want to be abiding by the policy rules that's going to be our next video please make sure to leave a comment and a like if you enjoyed the video let me know what you guys think what questions you have about setting up your recording equipment i'm here for you guys remember stick with the process i'll catch you guys later